Good morning. I've been waking up to that little hummingbird for I think the last couple of days, so that's been nice. Paul helped me make the hummingbird food. He spent some time with me last night. He sat in the chair kind of way far away from me since we're outside and we had a nice visit and I really needed that. So thank you, Paul. Didn't have a very good night's sleep last night. I drank way too much caffeine and sugar too late in the day yesterday. So uh, I couldn't fall asleep for a long time. I did put air in my mattress. It was too much though, and it made it really, really firm. I swear sometimes when I'm trying to sleep, it's like the princess and the pea. So it's gonna be another hot day today, and the sun is already coming through the tent and making me too hot. So I'm gonna get out of here and go make some coffee, get some breakfast going. Well, while I'm making my coffee, I'm gonna test myself again. Now that it's day eight, I want to know where I stand. Ah, uh, there's my beautiful coffee. But better yet, there's my negative test. Yes! Now I will tell you, I have two more days on my quarantine. I'm going to take it serious and just stick to it. So I will still continue to wear my mask <clears throat> anytime I go in the house, only because I still have a little bit of some symptoms, a little bit of coughing because of the congestion. Um, it's almost completely clear today so that's awesome very little coloring to it every once in a while i feel a lot better just super tired just i'm sure it's because i didn't sleep hardly at all last night so which brings me today i'll show you what my dad uh, brought he brought me this fan a pan and a bag of ice so if i want to take a nap today it's very possible that i could take a comfortable nap in this hot heat, but the heat won't be as bad. It's only going to be 107, 108. <laughs> I figured there's no better time than the present to let you know. Before I got the COVID, I was in the process of starting to get my training going again. I have a hundred mile race to do on November 5th. It's called the Rio del Lago 100 miler. It's in the mountains. It's all around Folsom, California and Auburn and cool. It's an amazing race. I finished it twice now and I had a DNF last year. One of the things that I was going to do just before I got COVID, I was about a week away from starting it and then I got sick. But I was going to put out, and I am right now, to those of you who are watching this right now, if you would like to take a challenge with me, I'm kind of starting from ground zero, kind of, sort of. I would say it's probably like maybe beginners to beginner intermediate, but some of the days will definitely be far more on the beginner side because I'm trying to train myself up kind of slow, get my strength back, get my endurance back, all those kinds of things. For 30 days, I'm going to be sharing all the training that I'm doing, um, whether it's on the elliptical, the bike, the punching bag, weights, all that kind of stuff to show you what I'm doing to prepare, but also hoping that you'll join me so that you can get nice and fit too. Not that you're gonna do a 100 mile race, but hey, you might do your first 5K, or you might get into hiking and biking and all these good things that um, will get you stronger and give you a much healthier life. And these are the things that develop healthy habits that I'm trying to create and share with people. So I hope you'll join me. So July 21st, get ready to get pumped up with me. Hey, not too bad of a bicep still, but it needs to get stronger along with the rest of me. And I want you to get stronger with me. So join me on the 21st. I will put out my first video and we'll go for 30 days. I'll show you each day what I'm doing and how I'm creating a stronger body and you can get yours too. So I'd like to lay down for a little bit, see if I could take a nap if it's possible, but it's so hot. So I'm gonna try my dad's method. Got a pan here that he brought. Gonna put this ice in it. There we go, I got it. Gonna put those in the middle, I suppose. I hate to waste too much ice, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, and I'm going to take it over here where I have the setup. I had this little table inside the tent. And I've got the 
air blower that my dad brought. I now have it on. It is pointing at the ice and inside the tent. So I'm gonna get in there and I'll tell you guys what I think. I can tell a difference or not. <laughs> Keep the bugs out. <laughs> just went for a walk before this. My legs are all powdery and dirty. I definitely got to take a shower, but I'm going to move this closer. I think it just might work. So let me get this closer, which would means I'll have to do this each time, but I won't have to do it too often. That just might do the trick. <laughs> I just want to know, is it going to make a difference for real? Okay, so I gave it a good try. I set the fan behind the ice and I could feel it really nice when the screen thing was open. I was like, oh, that feels pretty good. And I close it and I guess that mesh is just so fine and tight. It just wouldn't let the air in all that much. I mean, I could kind of feel it, but it wasn't all that refreshing. So I finally gave up and I eventually just put the fan inside the tent with me and put it on low and at least that felt a lot nicer. At least what sweat I was having was, you know, getting me cooled off with the colder air hitting me. So it might work in the day. Now what I'm thinking is maybe there's just enough room to put the ice in front of it inside the tent and try it that way and that just might feel really nice. I think what would work the best is if I had a block of ice instead of the single pieces stacked or you know kind of stuck together because those just melt so quickly where a block would take a lot longer to melt. So anyways, I gave it a good go. I'm going to try it again tomorrow, see if I can get it to work any better. Until then, I'm going to get some dinner and I'm going to crash tonight pretty early, I think. You guys have a good evening and I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys.